along with the final, there will be five preliminary matches of which Australia versus England is one of those matches which is on June 8th and that is going to be a huge influx of tourists for the island. Then we have three Super 8 games where the best teams will qualify into that series and then that grand final which is being played on June 29th. One of the unique things about Barbados is that we have a hospitality sector that is accustomed to um, hosting number of persons on the island and particularly you have a cross-section of ethnicities and nationalities that will converge on Barbados. You could think about the cuisine. We've got Indian cuisine. We've got a cuisine that can cater to anyone from even in Europe. So Barbados is strategically placed along with the hotel rooms and a lot of the other things that we do. And when it comes to this venue that we're at here at Kensington Novel, Barbados has shown over and over that we host unique games from Lance Rose 302 many years ago. Brian Lars, epic 153 Nautil in 1999. We have and will continue to show our excellence in the hosting of cricket matches. And we do look forward to hosting Cricket World Cup final in June of 2024. Can you tell us about the prospects and in terms of the persons you think that we'll be able to attract? Well, certainly there are 20 international teams that are going to be involved. So you've got all of the high quality stars from each of the different countries so we are going to have a global event actually converging so you got from India you got from Pakistan from South Africa Australia we are going to be really the showpiece of the world and what is unique about Barbados is that we've done it already if you look behind me they've started the infrastructural work here at Kensington Noble the floodlights that were in back for 2007 just after the 2007 World Cup they have already been removed obviously it's part of the growth and the infrastructure of the facility so we do look forward to making sure that everything is put in place there are some timelines that have been identified by the persons who are managing the project and we do expect that they will not only meet those targets but provide a facility that we'll be all proud of here in Barbados. The first game in Barbados is scheduled on June 2nd. I know the officials from the Tourism Marketing and Tourism Authority will be able to crunch those empirical data but we do expect hundreds of persons here at least in excess of at least 20,000 we expect to be converging and coming through Barbados between the June 2nd to June 29th period. So what happens now that Barbados has been announced officially along with some other Caribbean islands and obviously some territories in the United States of America, Barbados has to ensure that we have deliverables that are met. So my understanding is that the March 31st will be that one such deadline where the actual infrastructure with the floodlights and other areas around Kensington will be put in place. You're going to have a total re renovation of even the washrooms, the different suites that are available at Kensington. So it will be a complete transformation from that standpoint. But then the critical part of any cricket event, the pitch and field. The pitch and field, Kensington Oval will be hosting the, the host venue for all of the international matches. But then we've got three other venues. We've got the 3Ws over at UWI, which is going to be used as a practice venue, along with the Windward Club, which is in St. Philip, and also the Police Ground, which is centrally located in St. Michael. So we have that wonderful game being played at Kensington, and those other three venues will be brought up to, to grade to be able to host those practice sessions and practice venues.